How you guys doing today? So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my two weeks review of this device. And I'm not going to sit here and just jam some specs and game performance down your throat. This is going to be my personal experience. The reason I'm doing this review is because I believe that people's 14 day return period is coming soon for this device. I want to help people make that decision if this is the device to keep or not, or people who are in the fence and get this device. I want to help them make that decision if they should get it or not. So that's my goal with this. I don't want to just sit here and ram about like specs because there's a lot of YouTubers who have done those videos already. This is my personal experience and hopefully can help you guys make the decision if this is a device that you want to pick up. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is that when it comes to just physical issues of this device. Now, again, I know some people have had like problems with their B buttons or physical buttons having issues. Personally, my device has not had any issues. So, so I work with two other YouTubers, Marshy from Steam Deck Gaming and also Jerry from Game Tech Planet. And we all have Steam Decks and we talk about it in our Reddit Discord and no one seems to be having issues with their device as well. I also have other friends and family members and no one else seems to be having physical issues with this device. I know you can get turned off by, you know, this device having physical problems because you see all of the negative tr uh, threads on Reddit and post about it. But all the people I know so far have not have issues with um, their physical buttons with this device. So again, it's pretty durable to me. I actually have dropped this device once and I haven't had issues with this device after I've dropped it. So I just want you guys to know that it is quite durable and I'm not running into the issues of having any physical buttons. Now, as far as the comfort of this device, I really love the way that this feels. It's really light, especially like compared to the Steam Deck. I, I love the way that this feels in the hand. So something else that I want to talk about is the Windows experience for this device and Emery Crate. And I do have to say, this is not the most smooth experience. And I believe that's because Windows just don't go well with handheld PCs like this. I feel like personally, Microsoft has a lot of work to do to catch up to what Steam and SteamOS are doing with the Steam Deck. But I feel like with upgrades, software update, and I've done videos talking about software update. I feel like when Asus finally catches up with updating this software to get it to where they want it to be, this is going to be able to handle most stuff without having issues. So some of the issues that I do have, for instance, is, you know, I open up the command center like this. And when I try to switch to game mode or desktop mode, it just doesn't work for instance i push it it's working now but it just nothing happens and there are times when i do just push the command set and button like this and nothing comes up but it's not a deal breaker you have those issues every once in a while but yeah windows for the most part works really well here i love the emery crate over windows it makes it more easy to navigate and it gives you some pretty awesome tools again you have your real-time monitor here you can limit your fps you can switch between gamepad and the mouse cursor you have Operation mode here where you can turn on different, you know, watts. This gives you like extra juice to play more high demanding games. So I feel like Asus is doing the best that they can to make Windows more playable on a handheld PC form like this. So yeah, just go into this one knowing that Windows is a little sluggish, but it's not a deal breaker as to what other people are making it sound. So I know I said early in this video, I'm not going to get into like specs and, you know, gameplay performance and all that but i do want to talk about my gaming experience and this device and let you guys know how i feel about that i feel like this device is incredible when it comes to playing games i can't stress that enough this device does a good job running AAA games at 1080p and good refresh rate 30 plus fps with medium to high graphical settings we've tested several games here and when it comes to the steam deck performance i can tell you by far hands down this runs games better than the Steam Deck. So if you were looking for the latest device to play the latest AAA games, so an issue that, you know, I was running to my deck is that the fact that the latest AAA games just seem to be struggling to run that device. With this device, I'm not having those issues. Games like Dead Space Remake, Resident Evil 4, Callisto Protocol, they all run really well here and Hogwarts Legacy. 
So this is kind of like future proof. It tells me that most of the games coming out for the rest of this year are going to be playable on this device. And that's kind of what I was concerned with the deck. Like how is it going to be able to run like Ratchet and Clank is coming out next month. And that's going to be a very demanding game. It's going to be quite interesting to see if the Steam Deck can run it. But here with this device, I don't think I have to worry about that issue. Worst case scenario, I can bring this down to 720p and still get a better experience than I would get with the Steam Deck trying to run a game like Ratchet and Clank. So to have the options of being able to play games and having settings to get better game performance than the deck, I feel like that definitely brings me back to this device. So another thing that I do want to talk about is people mention the BIOS a lot. Again, there was a 317 BIOS and now we had the 319 BIOS and people are talking about like the performance hit that the 319 BIOS took. So I have to say, honestly, games run decent enough for me with the 319 BIOS. I'm not having any issues. As you've seen here, this is Red Dead Redemption 2 running on 1080p medium graphical setting preset and you get 40 FPS here. Personally, this is good enough for me. If I switch this again to 720p, I'll be hitting 60 plus FPS with ease. And so what that tells me is that there's performance improvement that's going to come to this device to even make it better. And so instead of like sitting here moaning about this didn't have the latest, you know, performance BIOS, just know that a better performance BIOS is coming, which should actually excite you guys. If this device is getting this great performance already with a BIOS that is, you know, not the best optimized for it, just think what ASUS can do with future updates to this device. So again, I'm, I'm very hopeful that this device will only get better from here. And so just go at it. You hear a lot with the BIOS noise, it's, it's good. It games run fine with 319. And to know that it's only going to get better is, is quite interesting too and exciting. So just want to highlight that. So overall, if you can tell, I'm really, really enjoying this device. And I would say don't let all the negative comments and negative things that people have to say about this device throw you away from this. I feel like this is one of the best devices in the market. This is by far the best Windows handheld PC device for the price in the market right now. And I think it's going to take some time for another company to dethrone this. And I do see Asus having yearly refresh. So, so I think by next year, this is still going to be king because they're going to refresh it. So yeah, I do think the Asus RAG line is here to stay. And for those people who are hating on this, I mean, you only hate on great things, right? If something's not great, it's no hate. So it shows that Asus is doing something right and shows that the competitors are feeling a certain way about it. But yeah, I would highly recommend this. Again, Best Buy has a 14 day return period. So if you are skeptical about like getting this device and it breaking the new, just test it out for yourself. Give yourself a 14 day window and I'm telling you guys it might come back and press. Personally, I'm loving this device after owning it two weeks and I'll just encourage you guys to give this a test for yourself before you make the decision based on the negative stuff that you've seen about this device. All right, fellas, just want to point this out. Let me know what your thoughts are on these on this review. Again, I just want this to be a personal experience review, not the hoopla about specs and performance and all that stuff. Let me know if that was helpful for you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.